Good morning guys. Today I am going to discuss about optics algorithm. What is meant by optics algorithm? So, uh, in the previous lecture we have seen the DB scan method and DB scan algorithm. How to cluster the points based upon few parameters. But here how the ordering of these points can be done to identify the clustering structure here. So, let us see what first we will see what are the disadvantages of the DB scan algorithm. What are the disadvantages of the DB scan algorithm? DB scan it can cluster the objects based upon the given input parameters. So, what are the basic input parameters in the DB scan algorithm? We are having the epsilon neighborhood value and the minimum points. Why? Because whenever we are changing the epsilon values and the minimum points values automatically the clustering the quality of the clustering is also changed. And it is very sensitive to your parameter values. That means if you are going to change your parameters means your clustering ordering will be changed and that quality of the clusters also will be changed. So, these changes in the epsilon and the minimum points will produce the set of clusters. We are going to get the different set of clusters if we are going to change our epsilon and the minimum points values. Then see here this optics algorithm it will be computed. Uh, for the automatic and the interactive cluster analysis. To construct the different clustering simultaneously, how these particular objects are processed in some specific order is a epsilon is a optics algorithm. So, this ordering of the object selects an object that is density reachable with respect to the lowest epsilon value. How the ordering of an particular object can be done means when we are having the density reachable with respect to the lowest epsilon value. We are not considering the highest epsilon value. So, your points must be first thing is it has to be density reachable and it should have the lowest epsilon value. Then only I can see that it is a um, that means we are going to order the clustering here based upon this lowest epsilon value. So, that clusters with higher density will be finished first. Clusters with higher, uh, higher density will be finished first. So, based upon this particular idea, two values needed to be stored for each and every object. What are those two values means? Uh, two parameters are there in the optics algorithm. That is, one is the core distance and another one is the reachability distance. Let us see what is this core distance and what is this uh, reachability distance. See, if you see this particular diagram, we can observe clearly what is this core distance. See, uh, this is one cluster and this is the another cluster uh, where uh, for this particular point P, this is my epsilon bar value with 3 mm and if you take this particular point P, for this cluster I am having the epsilon value as 6. But here, when I can say that a particular point P is a core point means uh, whenever it is going to have the lowest minimum or lowest or minimum epsilon value that then we can say that a point P is a core point. So, here I am having two epsilon values are there. One is with the highest epsilon value and one is with the lowest epsilon value but I will consider only the lowest epsilon values here so that I can find out the core distance of P. That is the core distance of the P. Then we will see what is meant by the reachability distance. What is meant by the reachability distance? Reachability distance means when I can say that a point P is reachable to the point Q and a point P is reachable to the point Q2 here. So, here first I will check whether what is my epsilon bar value, whether it is the minimum value or the maximum value. If that is the, uh, if that is the case means, uh, I will check if my epsilon bar value is greater than the given value means uh, then I will go and consider the Euclidean distance. So, I will calculate the Euclidean distance between the P and Q1 and uh, as well as I will calculate the Euclidean distance between the P and the Q2. So, this is called as my then I can say that uh, P is reachable to Q, Q1 and P is reachable to the Q2. So, this is the core distance and the reachability distance. Then uh, how we will see how you are uh, uh, plotting of your ordering of your points can be done. See in this particular graph uh, uh, how the cluster order of the objects can be represented means this is my epsilon value and this is my epsilon bar value. So, what I will do? I will find out uh, always lowest epsilon bar value that means the minimum number of values which are under the epsilon bar value 
can be considered as one cluster. So all these points will come under these uh, epsilon bar values and these points will come under these uh, below the epsilon bar values and again these points will come under these uh, points. So this is my one cluster wherever I am having few ridges are there that will be represented as my clustering of the objects. So these objects are ordered to form in this particular cluster. So that's why this is called as an optics algorithm. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like and share this video.